Hi, my name is Randall Allen Loy, and I'm a reproductive medicine specialist in Orlando, Florida. Today, I'm going to talk to you about why you would choose an infertility specialist over an OBGYN. To help me out, I have these two twin brothers to my left. They have a remarkable resemblance. They take after mom with a mustache. The guy on the left is an OBGYN. Now, he has undergone four years of undergraduate training, typically in pre-medical studies, then four years of medical school, then four years of OBGYN residency. His brother has done the exact same training, plus three additional years in reproductive medicine. We have to recertify every single year, and every six years we have to take a written examination, which is very rigorous, just to maintain certification. I think it's important to know that most OBGYNs do have some training in reproductive medicine. Our field has changed radically over the last five to 10 years, and OBGYNs have so many things on their plate they're not able to keep up with the advances in our field. But your OBGYN is a great place to start your infertility journey. But if you've not conceived a few months in, maybe after several Clomid cycles, you might want to then go to a reproductive endocrinologist. If you're over the age of 34, or if there's a male factor problem, you may want to go to your reproductive medicine specialist initially. So the very good news is that once you're pregnant, you get to go back to your obstetrician and gynecologist, and he or she will then follow you throughout the duration of your pregnancy. Typically, a reproductive endocrinologist will follow you through seven weeks of gestational age, and once you see that heartbeat, then you get to go back to your OB. When you're looking for a fertility specialist, look how long the medical director has been there. Look how long his PhD embryologist has been there. See how long his staff has been with him or her. See how many IVF cycles they do a year, and make sure that they're at least above the national average. And you can see that on cdc.gov website. Another couple of websites that are important. One would be SOCREI, that's the Society of Reproductive Endocrinologists and Infertility Specialists, dot org. And another would be usnews.com slash top dash doctors. If you just go into US News and put top doctors in, your search engine will find the best reproductive endocrinologist in the country. Finally, I'd like to leave you with a story. A few years ago, I was giving a talk about reproductive endocrinology, specifically IVF, and the signs outside of the auditorium read both reproductive medicine and schizophrenia support group. I said in front of my audience of 100 plus people, I said, if any of you are in the wrong auditorium, this is a discussion about IVF, not schizophrenia. So if any of you are schizophrenics, you can get up and leave. I certainly meant that as a joke, but some of those people who stood up to leave were conflicted and sat back down and heard my talk about IVF. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope that you'll subscribe. I would like to see you back here weekly. Tell your friends about us. If you have any comments of a personal nature, please email me at the address below. Now, I won't be able to answer those, but I will incorporate your suggestions, questions, comments into future episodes. Thanks so much. Hope to see you back next week.